Hello everybody, welcome back to the second part of me playing State of Decay Breakdown, which I accidentally called Stronghold or something stupid like that in the last part. Let's go into continue and see what's happened. I assume time technically goes on, just like the story mode, if you... if 24 hours passed since you last played. I certainly hope not, actually, because right after I finished recording the first part, there was another zombie horde warning, and it was right outside the bloody church. But because I was going to save and quit, I didn't have time to you know do anything about it so we're going to see the fallout of that i just got an achievement called home improvement for loading the game that's interesting i have noticed on the steam community hub as well that people have been complaining about this mode maybe being a little bit faulty where zombies are basically constantly spawning like i like i experienced essentially last time um so it may be a bit glitchy at present, or maybe that is intended. I do not know. So let's have a little look here. A group of survivors on the run. Oh, bloody hell, there's been a lot of updates since yesterday. Okay, let me go down. This is what I did yesterday. Okay, so... Well-maintained kitchen. Somebody mishandled a gun. So... A <laughs> gun just went off and lowered morale, whatever. Keeping it clean. Lily has the new trait sick stamina penalty. Well, you'd never play as Lily, so that's okay. I'll start taking inventory. Uh, Peyton was doing something fine. Uh, okay. Some supplies have been used up because it's a new day. That's fine. Lily has failed to recover from her injury. Okay. And contact a new group. We've got a request for some help. Uh, and Katie got sick. Build an infirmary to reduce the chances of getting sick. Okay, I'm going to have to do that as well. Do I have enough materials to do that? Where are we? Yes, I do do that. It's going to take 15 minutes. Okay, well, that'll be a good um, indicator for how long I've been going. Oh, am I... I am not tired anymore, so I technically don't need to switch to Peyton. Hmm. Okay. My plan was going to be to kind of... Let me get a bit closer to my mic here. Was a bit was um to go look for more supplies. Take more ammo. Did I just take something back in there? No, I didn't. That's fine. It was to go stock up on some basic supplies so that I can do a bit more. However, if there's a new group of survivors, I really do need some more fresh blood. So, what have we got here? That's just killing an armored Zed, which is just a you know a body armored zombie. Investigate the signs of a scavenger. Stranger in Trouble. Which one of these was Lily referencing? Um, I technically could go to both, I suppose. Let's make that my primary one. Um, we'll go, let me see what the sword looks like as well. Yeah, it's a cutlass. I am a pirate. And I'm... Hmm. I was going to say I'll just take the car I was using yesterday. However, that's only a two-seater. And if I am going to find some survivors... It's probably a good idea to take a four-seater, so okay. here we go. So like I was saying, people on the community hub have been complaining, oh, you get zombie hordes and zombies spawning right next to your base constantly, even if you've set up outposts. It does feel a bit tacky to me. I'm inclined to agree. Also, why is there a green dot there? Someone... Oh, that's right, I told them to do a supply run for ammo, didn't I? That's what Peyton's doing. Fine. But if the idea of this mode is kind of go for high scores, you're not supposed to survive overly long, then I kind of get why the zombies are constant, although I can also see why it would get very annoying. Now let me bring up my map again here. I want to take the next left uh, onto the off-road, onto the farmland, which is this turn right here. Oh, don't do a wheelie. Wheelies are not a good idea. Thank you for reminding me of the handbrake, because I couldn't remember. Oh, there was a big in next to me there. Never a good idea to ram a big in in a car, because they can actually stop the damn things. Okay, it's the farmhouse down there. Isn't this roughly where I went past when I was first starting this mode yesterday? Oh yeah, there we go. It's collected supplies. Fine. Oh yeah, so I'm recording this the day after I recorded the first part. Uh, so I have yet to see any feedback on the series, but I, I didn't want to leave it too long because, you know, the game kind of plays without you. So I didn't... Oh, there's a survivor right there, yeah. Let me just get rid of these two zombies and then I'll just have a little tatty tat with him. There's zombies right next to you, man. You're getting attacked! I don't want to make a noise, really, but I do love using a rifle. 
<laughs> what's annoying is he has the exact same voice that I have and that Peyton has as well. Okay, that was a big miss. That was also a big miss. That was a big hit. I think they're going after him. Do I not have any ammo left? No, I've got one bullet in the gun and that's it. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Cut your head off. That's right. I am a pirate. Oh, you're just going to be phased through the wall, are you? That was a nice kill. Right. Kingston Warren. I could use help getting this stuff home. Oh. Ah, so this isn't someone who's joining me, it's just... Isn't, isn't he the guy who I helped clear up the infestation, in fact? I'm pretty sure it is. So if I help him, I am getting half of what he finds. So... Good deal, I guess. I'm going to help some... Well, I say help, I'm going to steal some stuff before he gets his grubby hands on it, because I'm after supplies as well. So let's see what we find. If a big an attacks, I'm leaving him. Medicine resource, eh? Uh, th there was nothing in here. Um, I searched it and it was empty. Ready to roll in a minute. Yep, he's almost done. Don't attack a man with a sword, Missy. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, he's not... Oh, there's two back there. Oh, my stamina's pathetic. <laughs> I need to spend more time running on purpose just to get the stat up. Right, you fine? Nope, progress is still blocked. Because of this guy in here, eh? Uh, I think you need to get to level 7 with fighting before you can buy a special skill, but I can't quite remember. Oh, he just shoved her off. Yeah, that is the same guy, because he was using a lead pipe. I remember in the first part I accidentally thought he was unarmed, but he was actually armed. And it was with a lead pipe. So this is good, because if I get their trust up enough, they might join my community. But it says there's nothing left, you liar! Yeah, yeah. Have I still got one bullet? Yes, I do. Oh, God, there's a horde over there. I'm out of ammo. Well, that was a miss, technically. That is such a satisfying animation. Oh, we cannot alert this horde or we are both dead. Seriously. Have to make sure I don't make a lot of noise. Yeah, if this horde gets alerted, you are on your own, Mr. Man. Cut his head off with a critical there. Oh, come on, knock him over. Thank you. Finish! We need to leave. Seriously, finish! Oh, my sword is almost broken as well. So that's the downside to it. Really good, but it breaks easy. Oh, look at all the zombies over there. Seriously, we need to leave now. Finish the damn search. Oh, come on. There's already practically a horde here. If they turn this way... Oh, look! They turned this way. Look at them all! Please finish. I'm trying not to use... I'm trying to let him knock them over so I can just do insta-kills because I don't want my sword to break. The horde is coming, man! We really... Oh, and I'm knackered as well. Did I bring any... I forgot to bring snacks, too. Well, if I... No, if I crouch, he is not crouching. We are outside the cone of view of the horde, but it's going to be really close. Is that dead? Yeah, it's dead. Do not alert the horde. Do not alert the horde. Alright, he's ready. Follow me. Shh. Crouch! Crouch! Thank you. God! <laughs> We're going to sneak past the horde. There's a zombie right out here. I'm waiting for the horde to pass, and then I'm going to get in my car, and we're going to get the hell out of here. I think that zombie might know we're here, because it's running through walls currently, but whatever. Oh, well, she's obviously going to hear us, so... Oh, there's a big red circle! Oh, it's a screamer! Definitely not what we want to run into. Come this way. Right. 
Just walk normally. Don't rush. Don't sprint. Get in the car. 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 Thank you. Yeah, I know that oh, I might as well finish the horde for the community bonus. There we go. Alright, let's get you home. I should just be taking him to the same home that he was in last time because they haven't moved from what I'm aware anyway. Oh, there's another horde right there. Let me check the map quickly. Mm, I think that's the same house or they've moved slightly to get away from the infection. Infestation, I mean, not infection. Don't tell me your life story, especially since you're using the same voice as my character. Santa Claus, huh? Ooh, I'm really scared. If you know what I was quoting there, then you're all right by me. Yeah, they have moved house. So it should just be the wifey who was using a... What was she armed with? Table leg! An RV in the valley that might be able to get us out of here. So the RV was important that I started next to. Right, so there is a plot here. Let's consider that done. Here, just like we agreed on. Oh, it's a food resource. I can't carry it. Can I come back for it? Anything at home I should be worried about? There's an issue with the infirmary. We're trying to get it set up, but we don't have everything we need. We can track it hmm. down or find another way. Oh, you've got a third person in your little group of survivors here, have you? Interesting. Can I talk to you about anything? No, I can just say hi. Oh, that's right, I can hold... Right trigger you hold? I can't remember, I don't want to accident... Ah, oh, there we go, yeah. If they've got any quests or anything, you can do that and I'll tell you. Right, because I'm already carrying a resource, unfortunately I cannot take that, so I'm going to have to run and then come back. Luckily, we're fairly close to the church, so that should not take a lot of time. And also, my timer regarding the pharmacy getting finished... Oh. Okay. I'm doing that. It's it's getting made. I know. Oh. I was just there, Kingston. I just saved your ass, and now you're saying, "Oh, he's left," and now he's now you're thinking, "Wow, that guy was pretty badass. He saved me from a horde." Maybe I should join his little group. My name is Rick. It isn't really. Uh, okay, we're gonna go back there and get them then. Found this while I, was out. I wanna take a snack with me if I have any. Oh, you know, stuff. Ugh, not a lot though. Okay, I'm gonna have to store the sword so it gets repaired and I'll take a... Uh, I'll take the frying pan back. It's what it was equipped with. I am a chef so I also use a medicine. Right, so... Oh, let's get in there. Friendly survivors. That's who I want. So if I do this, I should get three new people that I can potentially switch between. So my chances for survival go through the roof, basically. So I am... And I can also... Why is there a green magnifying... Oh, because I need to find a, a certain item to finish the infirmary, which is also a massive priority, because if Lily dies, it might be instant game over, because she's the one who gives you all the bloody missions. Right, so... Oh, I took a wrong turn. It's further down the road first. I remember coming over here for my Let's Look At video, I raided the garage on the left there and it had a lot of materials in it. Now, what you find in places is randomised, however, garages are often a good position to find materials for a building. I right, just want to take this easy, I don't want to attract any zombies while I handle this stuff. Hello? I was just here a second ago. I don't think we're going to make it much longer on our own. What would you say to us coming to stay with you? I'd say... Well, first of all, I'm taking the food that you gave me. I'm bringing this stuff home. Well, you really know what you're doing. You should join us. We won't let you down. I so, could use an escort. I'm on. So I've got three new people, and I might as well. Oh, this is like their supplies. Ready in a okay, this is looking good. Well, are you guys ready to go? Because I'm ready. 
Oh, they've got to pick up all their supplies first. Search for a vehicle that's large enough for you and your friends. Here. Nice. Get in the car. Get in the car. Seriously, get in the damn car. Get in the car. Oh, I didn't mean to try and run you over. <laughs> Whoops. Get in the car. Get in the car. How many times do I have to say that in this part? Thank you. Right, and then we'll go check out their skills. Maybe they're not as useless as Matthew. Or Peyton as well. Although I kind of do want to play as Peyton because if he's pissed off, if I make him force him to do... Oh. Force him to do stuff for the community by playing as him. I, I am going for a record. Oh, that was a poisonous one and now I'm taking damage. That was very stupid. I didn't realise. We we Look how low my health is going. I've never been poisoned before, actually. Better keep moving. We got zombies behind us. Yeah, we do. You gonna help me defend the place? I accidentally left some in. I got an achievement there for bringing in new survivors and what the hell was happening with him? Nothing to worry about. There we go. So the new faces raised morale, gave me some new reputation. I've given us more food. I think eight population. I believe that's how many people I can cope with with the beds I have. Oh, you know, stuff. I really do need to gather resources, though. That's what I wanted to do when I started this part, and it's kind of what I have. To... Oh, they're sick. Ah, oh, damn it! And one of them got hurt. So the table leg lady has got a back injury. He's got a cough. He, she's got a cough. Mm, they've all got a cough. That is not good. Those guys are in real trouble. Yeah, they are. Okay, switching to Peyton. Oh, he was just over there in the distance. Fine. He's got a lot of stamina. Bye, Matthew. You've done us well. Right, let me see here. Alright, first things first. He needs a damn backpack. So, backpack. And uh, medicines. I guess he'll take a pipe. He'll take a... That looks like a bloody magnum. I really could be Rick here. What kind of ammo does that use? That uses 357 caliber. Which I don't have any of. Never mind. 45 caliber. Yes, I do have 45 caliber. Therefore, we're now taking the six year. Okay. Yeah, it's loaded. We've got three clips worth. Let me just check here. Good thing my tape recorder was running. You're gonna want to hear this. What is this now? Stuff is happening too fast. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a hand. I'm sending you the location now. Search for a vehicle large enough to get you and your closest friends out of the valley. Well, yeah, we already know about the. Where was it? The. Yeah, that's where the vehicle was because that's where the crash plane is, roughly there. Because that's where I started this mode. So yeah, that's the vehicle that's going to get us out of here. But, oh, in the meantime, we're going to have to deal with the zombies outside here. And... And I guess I'll raid a house. Probably that one. Yeah, let's try and clear this place first. Oh, that's an armoured zombie. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Is that Matthew up there? it is. Ah, there's the thing about Peyton, he has basically no health. It's not as good, but whatever, we shouldn't... Oh, that's what I wanted to do, actually. Look specifically for the thing I need to fix the carpenter's glue. And it's saying there is some around here. You know, actually, that might be a good place to find some, because it's a building under construction, if I remember rightly. So, let's have a little quick look. I don't want to attract too much attention as I do this, however. Um, turn the headlights off. I don't need them on. I'm not going out of the town. Oh, that is uh, another one of those big fat ones that explodes, I think. Uh, that's not the house. There's the house that's getting built. The motor on this car is especially loud. Okay. Oh, that big zombie is running at me. Look at the speed it's going. Is that the one that explodes? No, oh, either way it's dead now. No, the big dot on the radar is that one. Let's 
try and crouch and hopefully it won't come after me. I really don't want to get other people poisoned with a proper medical facility or they will probably all die. Or turn, or worse, here comes the big zombie. Carpenter glue acquired, I was right! Excellent! Okay. Better look around some more. Uh, no, I don't want to look around some more. There's zombies all over the place. I need to get this back. Do they know where I am? It sounds like they do. And he's looking for me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. And yeah, now you can mind me all you want, because I am leaving. Crisis averted, potentially, because now once the medical police gets finished, everybody who is ill or injured have a certain percent chance every day to recover. And it's improved by having the, the medical facility, which is what I need. And this car is really loud. I know where the damn vehicle is. And I also know that it's missing a tire and an engine and whatnot, so that's obviously going to be the recurring theme of this mode. Scratch there we go. The so, his morale raised. Perfect. And now if I go to here, it's ready in two seconds. It's done. Good, we now have the means by which to treat wounded and sick survivors. Did I bring... I did bring medicine, but I didn't bring any. Right, so, to finish off here this time, I think we'll do one more quick supply run. Maybe set up an outpost. I also have one more slot here to build something. I already have a basic workshop. So that means my sword will get repaired, which is good. Let me have a quick look here. That is probably the nearest house. So let's have a little shifty over there. I'll take the long way just so I don't go through the forest. I'm kind of okay with Peyton, Peyton dying. Oh, actually, the house is right there. Unnecessary, really. And whoever was that, that zombie that was just about to come after me got sniped by Matthew, so... Turns out Matthew's a good enough shot when you need him to be. Let's just pull in, nice and slow. I hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, there she is. Hello, ma'am. Why don't you come over here and say hello to my car? No? Yeah, here you come. Bring it on! And it looks like there's at least two still in there. And one on the road behind me. Okay, that's three more. Interesting. And I guess my main goal next time, even though I'm still short on supplies, is I'll go back to that damn RV and see what kind of stuff needs to be done to repair it. Because I guess that is the goal of this mode, is it's get the hell out of here via the RV. And we'll go into sneaking mode here. And we'll try and secure this place. By searching it all. By the way, if you don't know how this works, there's a series of dots on the map. Oh. There's a zombie outside there. Yeah, there's a series of dots on the house. Once you've searched them all, you consider the place fully secured. There's two zombies outside. They should not know where I am. In theory. In theory. Don't keep reminding me, I know where it is. I'll get to it, I promise. I hear quite a few zombies outside, actually. That's a bit disconcerting. Not alone in here. Right, so he's still not considering it secure because I haven't finished searching it and because there's zombies within the perimeter. There's two zombies by my car. Okay, well, your moment to shine. Let's take those two zombies out as quietly as possible. Oh, there's like five zombies. Okay, let's give this car a bit more of a run then. And we'll get rid of that. I'm using the back of the car because the front of the car is obviously close to breaking point. Oh, there go my headlights. 
Oh, and there's a horde coming. Of course there's a horde coming. This mode is just relentless. Bloody hell. I am moving fast here because I want to clear out all the house before the bloody horde arrives. Right, so now even if the horde comes right by, over here. it should be okay as long as I don't make any noise. Well, is that another bloody zombie? Yeah, it is. There we go. Did I kill him? Yes, yes I did. Right, can I establish an outpost? How do I do that again? Ah, there we are. Check this out. I don't want to name names or anything, but we've got some out of shape people around. Who are you referring to? If we set aside a little space for a training area, we could make sure everybody's ready for all that fence hopping and zombie fleeing. Maybe later. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I thought I needed to fully search the place. It was weird that it was saying everything was fine. After I finish searching this one, I will wait until the horde is moved. A kitchen timer. Don't really want it, but I'll take it. Let me just quickly check the map here. Yeah, the horde is sneaking past the house. And it should be okay to do this. It was a small sound effect it made. If I make a big one, I'll screw myself over. See what we find here. A rifle. Nice. nice. Yeah, like he said, nice. There goes the horde out the window there. I'm not sure how easily you'll be able to see it, but it looks like it's a good 10 or 12 zombies. So I've got this thing next to me to search, and then the cabinet there, and then that'll be it. How far past are they? Should be okay soon. I still hear Matthew sniping zombies that are attacking the houses. Good job there's ammo. Okay, we're getting away with this. I'm chancing it slightly to try and, you know, not linger too long. Okay, we've got a snack and a backpack. Where the hell am I gonna carry Can I just uh oh I can just destroy it. There we are. And then one more bit here. And then I'll set up an outpost just because I want to have one to see if it cuts down the number of damn zombie attacks. And then we'll finish there when I get back to the city. Food resource, excellent. And a golf club. I'm using the medicine purely for a space. Because I want to take the golf club. Right now I should be able to set up an outpost. Not now. What? Why is it not counting as fully searched? There must be a thing upstairs. Ah, yeah, there is. Okay. In fact, there may be more than one thing up here. Pipe wrench. That's better than a pipe, in my opinion. Nice. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Now we're done. Looks like a good spot for an outpost. Pretty big stuff. You want to go through with this? Let's do this. By the way, this is not an amazing place for an outpost. He is entirely wrong. However, I'm just doing it for the sake of testing. I need to cut down the number of zombie attacks. If that's even possible in this mode. Alright, so like last time, I mean, keep in mind I'm uploading this uh, before the first part has gone live, so I haven't seen any feedback yet. So I'm still looking for feedback. Would you like to see more State of Decay breakdown? Um, what are your thoughts on it so far? No, oh, it looks like there's going to be an urgent mission next time. Fine. Uh, there's zombies in the perimeter. What the hell? Matthew, you're a crap sniper. Don't worry, though. I'll handle it. I need to get my fighting skill up anyway. Jeez. Yeah, so as I was saying, please consider commenting on the series if you want me to make more, and any thumbs up or comment is incredibly appreciated. There we go. 
and I will keep... He seems like a golf club kind of guy. Uh, and a pistol user, so I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of... No. Let's keep that. He needs the ammo. There we go. So I'm not sure who we'll be playing as next time. We might just stick with Peyton a little bit to get his stats up. Who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Flick. Ta-ta for now.